Hi and welcome back. So in this video we're going to be looking at how we can make a GET request and this GET request is used to access a web page and to get the web page back and be able to load it and, and look at the web page. So the first thing to do is to create the file, the Python file that is going to run our application. So I'm just going to go into new Python file and create my app.py file. Remember you can call this whatever you want I am simply choosing to call it app. That is a fairly standard name for the main sort of file in Python. Now if we want to make a get request, if we want to be able to request the page from the server that it is on, if we want to request the page from wherever it is that it's stored on the internet, we are going to need a library called requests. And this requests library makes it, ex makes it extremely easy for us to make these get requests. So there are two ways to install the library. The first way is quite simple. Simply go to your preferences and then click on project interpreter under your project. Press the plus sign. Well, first of all, select the appropriate virtual environment if it is not already selected. In my case, it is. Then press the plus sign and find the requests library that you want to install. And then it's here, version 2.7.0. And then finally, just press install. So that is one option that we can do. But the other option is to put this in a file that Python already knows should contain the libraries that we want to install. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my project and press new file and type requirements.txt. This is the standard name for this specific file. And in this requirements.txt file, we should write all of the libraries, all of the packages, all of the code external to our application that we want to use. So simply requests equal equal 2.7.0. This is the name of the library and this is the version. And equal equal simply says I want this version of this library. In fact I want exactly this version of this library. Okay and then when we go back to our Python file PyCharm will already tell us that this package is not installed and that we should install it if we want to use it. So we can simply press on install. And after a wee moment, the package gets installed. And now we can go into our app.py and say import requests. And sometimes PyCharm does take a while to be able to do this. It is sometimes quite slow. So I'm simply going to run that and then it works. Okay, so after a couple of seconds, that um, now gets recognized again. You may have to run the app before it gets recognized. This is a small bug in PyCharm, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. And now we can do our request. So I'm going to create a variable called request that is going to hold this request that I'm doing. So request equal requests dot get and then http www.google.com Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to perform this request. We're going to get this page and then we're going to put the page as well as a number of other pieces of information inside this request variable. Such pieces of information may be things like has the page loaded correctly? There's quite a lot of information that comes when doing a GET request and that gets put in the request variable. But the thing we're interested in the most is request.content. And this content is simply the full code of the page that we requested. So this is going to return the HTML code of google.com. Okay, so let's press run and see what happens. And indeed here you can see that we get a long line of code, which is google.com's code. Okay, so this is how you can make a GET request. Um, and in the next few videos, we're going to be exploring this a bit more and um, essentially starting to parse the data from some of these pages. So hopefully you find that as exciting as I do, and I'll see you in the next video.